So you might be trying to figure out how to set up your iPad on iPadOS 26. Now doing this is actually very basic, doesn't really take too much time. All you want to do is you want to swipe up as soon as you kind of get into it and you'll come into this page. The first page you get to choose your language as always. So choose your language and then choose the country or region that you're in. Then you can change your appearance, whether you want a bigger size or a smaller sized you know, appearance, you can kind of change that here. So for me, I'm going to keep it on default and I'm going to click on continue. Next, you can bring an iPhone or other iPad device close to you. It's close to this one. And you can go through and set up this iPad with that other device. In this case, I will set up with another device, but you can choose it this way. And then you get to connect to your Wi-Fi connection. So click on the Wi-Fi connection here and you can go and choose what Wi-Fi connection you have. And you can go ahead and type in your particular Wi-Fi password. And once you go ahead and type in your password, hopefully it should be the right password. And then it will go ahead and basically just see it this way. And for some reason, my proximity sensor, my brightness went all the way down, which was really weird. Now this page typically will take a few minutes for it to go through and to properly get set up. So it can be kind of a little bit of a process. In this case, it was a lot faster. So now you can go ahead and see whether you want your data and privacy, you know, to go through, you can click on continue to kind of, you know, ignore it this way. You can choose the age range of your particular, you know, uh, iPad as well of who's using it. So you can go through and choose it. In this case, I'm an adult. You can also start setting up face ID. I would recommend everyone to start setting it up. In this case, I'm going to be, you know, setting it up later, but you can set it up whenever you want to. In this case, again, I would recommend doing it. And I would also recommend creating a passcode for your particular device as well. So create a four digit or six digit passcode. In this case, I will not be using a passcode. Now, on top of that, you can transfer your data from a different iPad to this one. So if you wanna transfer from another iPad, from a PC, from an Android, you can go and set it up here. In this case, I will not be transferring it from anything. I would also recommend putting in an Apple ID. This is going to be your Apple ID that you can sign in with, that you can send iMessages with back and forth. It'll sync with all your other devices too. You should do this. I will not be doing it in this video, but I will probably recommend that you should probably end up doing this for the most part. So just kind of keep that in mind. You can also set it up later in settings if you want to. So it's basically up to you. Now it's, they're gonna give you a little page to read. Go ahead and read it. And then after that, it's gonna tell you whether you want your iPad to update automatically I will have it only download automatically, but you can set it if you want it to update automatically too. You can turn on location services here if you want to. In this case, I will set up later. Your screen time, you can set up your screen time whichever way you want to. In this case, we will set up screen time later. Your iPad analytics, I'm not gonna share them. And also you can choose whether you want light or dark mode display. In this case, I will choose light, but you can choose dark or auto. Whether you want Siri to be on or off, you can go through and turn it on. In this case, I will just turn it off. And then you are ready to go. So now you have your iPad fully set up from iPadOS 26. The settings are a little tiny bit different than the ones on iPadOS 18, but that is essentially how you do it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.